Hey guys, this is Jason here. So um, this is one of my jobs that I've done a whole bunch of these uh, storage sheds. Um, I live in Las Vegas, so it's a little bit bright out here. That's why I'm squinting. But um, the uh, storage shed have some issues. This one in particular, I like to go ahead and show people a little life hack of getting the um, top truss in. Uh, let me go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. So this has already been pre-done. Um, you'll notice there's the, um, uh, like it's cut a little a bit and then it kind of comes out the, from one side to the other side. And you can see it's just straight. Now the straight end is for the back. The curved end is for the front, which is gonna be this direction right here. So what I like to go ahead and show people one little life hack, I guess you'd say, on, um, on these uh, sheds is the very last screw so trying to fuse it there that one right there into that corner i don't put that one in until the very end the reason is i like to be able to wiggle this in so let me go ahead and show you what i do so i have my screw gun and two screws keep one and one in the mouth and then i put the hook right there because i'm going to need that in a second and i do this all by myself all the time so, you take the first one, you push it in, and then what I do is a little wiggle, a little side by side, to get it in onto that roof section just like it did. On the other side, there we go. On the other side, I slide in. Be very careful because this can slide out on you. Then, let's go ahead and take the camera here and show you what I do. So, then, I take, after this has been put in, I go ahead and I make sure that this is aligned right there. And then I make sure this piece is aligned right here. You'll see there's a little uh, piece of uh, plastic. So, I'm go ahead and try to get this in. Sorry, I don't have a tripod for this. So, I put the screw in first. Now, I align there. I make sure that is aligned and I go ahead, put a screw in there. Again, sorry for the craziness here. There we go. And I put that one in. Now, you'll notice that is not in all the way yet. What I'm going to do next, get another screw. And then I put one in here just so that way this thing doesn't come crashing down on my face. Because I've had it happen a couple times. Go ahead and align it first. And then you should be able to see right there. Now, this is how I go ahead and put and make sure that the roof is perfectly aligned. So I use my drill. So I just pat on the top right here to push this piece down like that. Or I'll come around to the other side and I'll pat on the back of the wall. Come on, re readjust, baby. <sighs> Sorry. I love the auto adjust on this. Hopefully that works there. There we go. And then push it back up. So we could hopefully see right there. And then I'll just pat down to get to that desired height that I want. Now that's for the roofs. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is put a couple screws in here. And, oh boy. This is the benefit of not having a tripod. I'll tell you, it's all craziness. And then you put one screw in here. And that will make that piece right here uh, fit in. So that's for the roofs, <clears throat> roof uh, life hack. Next up, I'm gonna be showing you guys as well, um, the doors, there's a really cool one on the doors. You're gonna to wanna to see it. Please click, click that next video, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, if you have any other issues with um, life hacks of, of these type of sheds, and you're like, man, Jason, please show it. I literally do these all the time. I do this type of shed, I'd say, maybe three or four times in a month. So um, I'll be glad to make another video if you have one issue that you're having issues with and you think people would like to see. I'll go ahead and try to put that one on. But uh, go ahead and click the like button, share it, 
Uh, leave a comment. If you have any questions, I'll be glad to help you out.